Caddis Maximus here. This time with just a quick video about some American made vintage anvil type spring hose clamp pliers. What I mean by vintage anvil is there's various anvils and so these that have the small cuts are generally for single wire hose clamps versus the ones I'm demonstrating which are known as two wire hose clamps. But they all have these E-clips. Same with this brand which is the uh, these are like PCL 210s or something. And you can replace the anvils on these to get different shapes. As we can already see, these PCLs have a crosshatch pattern. One deep and one light. Where these KDs do the same thing, but they don't go all the way through. And that's all they're really for. These KD ones are just a little bit more basic. And even though they're not specifically designed, this the notches are for... And the hollow point is just so you can get onto the edge of the hose clamp, grab it. Well, that one. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> why these aren't generally recommended for... God, these are some pretty big clamps for this style, too. Come on, now. <laughs> I was just having pretty good success with these a second ago. Anyway, you grab those and they kind of kind of do that. There's a more of an idea of how it grabs a single wire a little bit more effectively than of course two wires. It seems this style works a little bit better. This also has this interesting uh, on and off ratchet. So you can just use them normally, compress the hose clamp, or you can use this ratchet. And as I was saying, this style with the two notches does seem to work a little bit better. And as soon as you get it ratcheting down, that's kind of the point of these, is it will end up holding it. Then you kind of have to squeeze and to get, release that and get it to cooperate. And as you can see from me using these inappropriately on twin wire hose clamps, the real reality about these and why I haven't seen very many of them is even though they're neat, they're not, they're just not all they're cracked up to be. Because quite frankly, half the time you can just take a pair of channel locks grab a hold of the hose clamp and pull it off nice and easy no matter what angle that you get it at and that's kind of the deal is they are a specialized tool where the idea is that they kind of grab the hose clamp just a little bit more effectively and quote unquote more safely but when it comes to actual practice just some regular old pliers or you know especially some nice ones like these channel locks which have some real deep cuts in the teeth work just as well and many times work much better and that's uh, really the bottom line so anyway never done a video about the spring hose clamp pliers so i picked up a couple pairs and wanted to talk about it and did want to mention that they have different shaped anvils that you can replace them with but in most instances uh at least in my opinion they just don't save you that much time, energy, effort, or provide much additional quote unquote safety or usability over just other more standard type suppliers. Maybe in some certain real specialized situations, but that's really the crux of it is many times there are specialized tools. People get think, oh, I have, you know, I can't do the work because I don't have this particular special tool. Where in many situations that simply just isn't true. You just don't want to get caught up in the hype of a or the thought that you need a specialized tool until you really evaluate what you're trying to do and realize another tool will work not just only work but may work just as well or even better so anyway really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do until next time caddis maximus out